Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, India Exim Bank 2024 notification is out for the management trainee. And today we are going to discuss the notification, the exam pattern and the syllabus with you. Okay. So let's start the session. Uh, the dates to apply from 18th of uh, September till 7th of October, you can apply for the exam. 7th October talk you can apply and the exam is going to be held in the month of October only right and the eligibility age eligibility criteria age criteria is uh, your age should be between 21 to 28 as on 1st of August 2024 uh, aapki age jo hai 21 as on 1st of August 2024 for management trainee business uh, banking operations 50 vacancies are there in total so there is age relaxation available for SCST, OBC, PWBD category candidates. So if you have the age relaxation, if you have certificates, hai, then you'll be eligible for the age relaxations, right? So SCST, non layer OBC, PWBD category candidates, they are eligible for the age relaxation. Uh, so qualification required uh, minimum 60% marks required in your graduation and it should be a three year full time duration course, right? So three year minimum three year full time duration means you should have gone to a college. Distance learning education is not acceptable here or minimum 60% marks. Chahiye. Uh, and then post graduation, if you have done MBA, PGDBA, PGDBM, MMS, with specialization in finance, international business, foreign trade, then you are eligible. In case you have not done post graduation, you have done CA course, even then you are eligible, right? So in the post graduation as well, you need 60% marks. But if you are, if you have done the CA course, then 60% wala requirement is not there. If you have appeared for the final exam of CA or if you have appeared for the final exams of your MBA in finance or international business or foreign trade, you are eligible, right? But you need to submit your, uh, you know, final mark sheets at the time of joining. Okay. So candidates who appeared in the final exam, they need to, uh, you know, uh, they need to show documents evidencing successful obtaining the requisite qualification by 1st of June 2025. Your results should be out before 1st of June 2025. Okay. And all the universities obviously should be approved by Government of India, AICTE or UGC. So selection procedure, there is a written exam followed by the personal interviews, right? So we are focusing on the written test here. Uh, students exam pattern has been totally changed. It's a subjective paper now of professional knowledge. Part one is financial statements. And the part two, the we are going to discuss the syllabus of the part two, there is no sectional cutoff. So total 100 marks are there and two hours and 30 minutes are allotted to attempt all the questions, right? So 70% uh, weightage would be given to the written exam and 30% weightage would be given to the interviews. So based upon the performance in the written exams, candidates would be called for the interviews. So the syllabus for the professional knowledge, it starts with the annual reports, uh, balance sheet, profit and loss, statements of cash flow, financial ratio, ratio analysis is important, uh, financial projections like balance sheet, the capital budgeting, all that FM is there. <clears throat> Profit and loss statements of cash flows, break even point, time value of money, NPV, IRR, sensitivity analysis, ICR, all the capital budgeting wallet topics is also there. Financial management, ECBs, uh, interest rate benchmarks, uh, accounting standards, equity and bond pricing, derivatives, uh, forwards, futures, options, swaps, all that you need to do, FCINR, resource raising, etc. Trade finance, mail, letter of credit, bank guarantee, suppliers, credit and buyers credit, uh, UCP DC 600, UR, DG, etc. KYC compliance, master circulars related to the KYC, Sybil, Krillic, CFR, FATF, OFAC, SDN, AML, CIB, FATCA, etc. So stressed account, uh, in that you need to do uh, the Surfice Act is there, IBC is there, all the I I uh, RBI's master circulars we are going to do. 
IRAC norms, which is a master circular, Surf IC, IBC, recent initiatives taken by the RBA and the government of India. So risk management and audits, types of risk, evaluation and mitigation of risk and Basel 3 master circular. This is a master circular by RBI. So Indian and global economy, India's international trades and services, top exports and import sectors, industry analysis, trade agreements, etc. Indian financial system, uh, Reserve Bank of India, SEBI, export credit agencies, DFIs, uh, banks, public, private, foreign, special uh, uh, economic zone, etc. Uh, in the taxation, basics of the direct and indirect taxes, the GST, the income tax, basics you are supposed to do, right? Legal and regulatory framework, Negotiable Instruments Act is important here, Indian Contract Act, Companies Act, uh, Security cre Creation, Registration of Charges, FEMA, ODI guidelines, etc. Right? Uh, documentation ke laws are also very important. We are going to do that. So India Exim Bank Management Training uh, 2024 course, it's available on bankexamstudy.com. Uh, link to join the course is available in the description. You can join the course. Uh, see students, we are going to provide the mock test, but it would be difficult for us to evaluate it. I mean, frankly speaking, it would be actually very difficult for us to evaluate all the questions for all the students. Maybe we'll evaluate one test uh, by all the, uh, I mean, one test we can evaluate, but evaluating 10 tests would be difficult. So you need to do self evaluation because it's a, uh, you know, subjective type of paper. It's not an objective type paper. So you'll be getting video classes, study material, live sessions, unit tests, uh, special attention to financial awareness. Uh, some of the financial awareness topics in which RBA circulars are there. We are going to focus on that on day one. This is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And list of our successful students in the past, all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. And you can be one of them in the future and yes, you will be one of them in the future. Uh, so if there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer all your doubts, right? And that's, I guess, all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.